In this video, I will show you how to download and install all of the tools needed in Reduce Modules. Now, not every module uses every tool, so please feel free to skip ahead to the tools you will need. First, we'll go over Command Line Tools, or Terminal. Now, I use my terminal very frequently, so I have it docked to the side. But if you've never used it before, you can find it in your Finder. By simply typing Terminal, you will see it pops up from the Applications Utilities folder on your computer. I'm going to double click, it will open up a simple text window, which we call the terminal or the command line. I will make mine larger. This is where we will execute our commands in different modules. Now the first tool we're going to look at is BLAST. So to test if you have BLAST installed on your computer, you type BLAST N for nucleotide BLAST and then hit return. And we see that it says BLAST N not found. This means that it's not installed on my computer yet. So to install it, you open your internet browser of choice and search for BLAST install. And the first link here from NCBI, you'll see a number of instructions from NCBI. Simplest being that we just want the latest release here, so whatever version is the most up to date. And this will take us to what's called an FTP site for file transfer. And you see a number of versions for different operating systems. Now, we're working on a Mac, so we will need this DMG file. We will not need this Mac zipped file because these are not the nice already compiled for you installer. So make sure that you are downloading this file. I will save it to my desktop. And depending on your internet connection, this could take up to a couple minutes to complete. Once your file is installed on your desktop, you can close out of your internet there, and we just double click to open it. This will then bring us to the uninstall version of the program, which we don't need yet because we haven't installed it, and then the package, which is the actual installer. If you double click on the package, you may get this warning that is from an unidentified developer, meaning that it's not anyone that Mac understands or recognizes. So to get around this, because we know who NCBI is and we know this tool is okay to install, if we right click and then have it open with the installer app, then it will prompt us, are you sure you want to do this? And we are, so we click open. This will open up the simple installer with an introduction, the uh, license agreement, which the first time you install, you should look over before any installation of any software. And then it's asking, are you sure you agree to this? This is a relatively small program you see here, um, just about 400 megabytes, but you should make sure you have this much space available on your computer. We install. If you have security on your computer, we'll ask for your password. In this case, I can use my fingerprint. And then the installation is complete. Now, unlike many applications, where when you go to your applications, it shows up here as something you can double click and open, BLAST is a command line tool. So it doesn't have a nice, what we call GUI, or graphical user interface that you can interact with. So to test that BLAST is installed, we need to restart our terminal here. Make it larger for you. And now when we type BLAST N, hit enter. Now instead of saying it can't find the command, it's saying it found the command but can't run it. So you'll see this error message saying I found the BLAST command but you didn't give it a database or any sequences to run BLAST on um, so it couldn't complete anything but it means it's successfully installed. So that's all you need for the BLAST tools. Now these files um, on your desktop we no longer need the installer so we can delete them. Now we're going to go over how to install R and RStudio on your computer. Just like Blast, we can find it on the internet here. We look for R install. It's important that you want to start install R before you install RStudio. So we just can go to the main R project page. You can download from CRAN is where you'll be downloading from. And just pick a mirror, so a place to download from that is geographically near you. So you can see I am in Canada, so I'm often using one of the Canadian crayons over at Simon Fraser University. And then we will install the version that we need for Max here. 
Now, just like with Blastc, we have a package file, P PKG, and the latest release being 351. Now, if you already had R installed on your computer for any other courses or work that you've done, just make sure that you have 3.4 or more recent for, to complete Educe modules. Here we will install the most up-to-date. Again, saving onto our desktop. Once R is downloaded onto your desktop, you can double-click the installer and go through it. Very similar to the Blast you'll see here. It's an even smaller program, tiny, about 160 megabytes. We'll input my fingerprint password and it will install R. Success. Now, if we wanted to use plain R instead of R Studio, we could find it in our applications folder here, but that's not what we're going to do just yet. We're going to actually use R Studio. So, go back to search engine here, R Studio install, download R Studio. And we'll see there's a number of versions. We're simply going to use the free desktop version. Now it's important here that you don't use these zipped tar balls. These are uncompiled and not ready to use. So make sure that you're picking Mac here for the pre-compiled installer. Save to the desktop again. And then open our installer. Similar to many applications you may have installed before, the way to tell your computer that you've installed this is to drag the RStudio app into applications. Now I already have a version, so I'm not actually going to overwrite it, but you would not see this message, so I'm not going to do that. Now, if we want to open RStudio, we can go to our applications and scroll down to RStudio. Key thing to keep in mind is you don't want to open base R, you want to always open R Studio. Now when we open, you'll see a number of panels that we will go through when we do our tutorials and demos in R. But the important thing to see here is that R Studio, since it was installed second, automatically found the R version on your computer. So if you already had R installed, this is how you would check easily that you have at least 3.4 or better. So those are all the tools that you will need for the current Aduce modules. Thank you for taking a look and please check out our website for our other data science tutorials and videos.